following up with the last question, um, how, especially when you're traveling a lot, doing a lot of the commute work, even locally, when you're away from the house, how do you bring up your children? I know, you, I know your wife's there. Yeah. But the father also plays a role in the, in the education of upbringing of the children. So how did you, for example, balance your commuter work, your charity work, and give some attention to your children as well? Okay. Thank you. Putting the camera in the studio properly. Thank you. In the relationship between you and your wife and the children, in the family, you have to consider another element called Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who will be between the three of you. He is the one who will be mending the relationship, protecting the house. Because he looks at your heart. Then he looks at your wife's heart. And he looks at those small children and he helps by his own way. Okay? To try to fill the gap of the absenteeism of the father from home. Okay? This is where you look at it. That's why you ask his help. While we mentioned in the previous uh, question, that this complete transparency between you and your wife, then uh, by informing her and educating her every day, not only to educate her, but to listen to her. Teaching without listening is no good enough. The same process has to go to your children. Okay? When you can involve them with you, if they have got a sports event happening in the locality, take them with you encourage them to attend quiz competition recitation recitation or uh, uh, other competition there you can they can go with you if 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 it allows to take some of the children if they're grown up with you to one of the field visit to understand what's happening you take them with you on your own cost the same so this process of education to your wife goes to the education to your children when you call your wife, you ask for the children. Sunny, how are you? Daughter, how are you? And you tell them how it's difficult. Let them to live in the scene, inside the scene. Oh, I'm now on the mountain, 5,000 feet high. Very snowing, I cannot do this. There's no water, there's no food. Daddy, how can you survive? And you can encourage them to write stories about your trips. To try to reflect on what you're doing, so they get get them engaged with you. So they will be looking at the bigger picture. If you let your children to keep looking at the bigger picture, they will never ask their mother for the little things. Oh, daddy there, daddy in, uh, daddy in in in, in uh, where where is it? In Syria or uh, in a border of Syria or he's in, uh, in Iraq and they're bombing everybody and killing. But may Allah save daddy when he comes back. When you look at this, your child, you take him from this level to the other level. So his or her scope would be different. But if you keep the children detached from you, the wife detached from you, you will lose both of them. Okay. But so engage them in a lot of sports activity with the school, okay? And any hobby they have, encourage them to improve and to develop their hobbies to become the master of what they want. Do not force them to study something that they do not like. Sometimes the children don't want to carry on education after uh, GCSE level, and they force you. Some people might be very upset, well, let him go out or let her go out for a year or two and to look for something else. And the education is a, no, is, is a, is a never ending story. Okay. Something like this, when they see their fathers is listening to them. You know what I was watching this morning? Nanny McPhee. Nanny McPhee. Okay. One of the uh, lessons she taught the children is to think, number one, then <coughs> to behave, 
then she told the father to listen. Once the father is listening, the children will be very happy. Even if you don't have anything to offer. To, let, to, to respect them. So this kind of relationship between the three components of the family, which is you, your wife, your children, and the fourth is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will work. The other factor is because you have good family members here. They can be engaged. Regular visit to the auntie, to the uncle, to the grandpa, the grandma, and all this sort of They all help. And also the process of education goes to your mother-in-law, especially to your father-in-law, to try to tell them your, 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 your daughter and your, your grandson and daughters are actually earning a lot, not the money-wise, but in the character, in the barakah that they have. So the process of education not only stops at your child, at your wife, but goes to your in-laws and to your father and mother as well, to be helpful, not complaining. So it's it's multi-dimension process of education to different components of your family. The small family and the larger family. And if you have neighbors or friends or very uh, uh, whom you trust, they will help you as well. Yeah, answer what you want. Thank you, sir.